And a good morning to all y'all. This is breakfast. It's like, I don't know, I asked for a tofu scramble. They just put tofu on some toast or whatever. And then we got some different kind of like vegan yogurts and um, tapiocas. My stevia, that goes for a cafe Americano. We've been on the sleep schedule, five hours on, five hours off, five hours on. Five, it's like really on like clockwork. 5 p.m., go to bed, wake up 11, go to bed at 4 5, wake up at 10 10. You know, do some stuff for a few hours, go from sleep to like one to, to six, play the tournament, bust, set my alarm for 10 to 12, 30. And then um, we woke up uh, once again around seven o'clock. So it's just like sunlight, daylight, what? none of it matters. I'm in a casino. So the plan today is going to jump in late to the, it starts at 6 p.m. We'll do our day. I'm gonna go to the gym today. No no effing around. No, no effing around, Missy. You go to the gym. Stop being a sissy. Ha! Ah, I can rhyme. Look at me. What? All right. And then uh, we're gonna probably watch some shows, chill out, you know, um, snap. <laughs> this is life. Just imagine that if I were president, I would want you to be a member of my cabinet. <laughs> Okay, we really are, and it's dark, we really are going to go to the gym. One episode of House Cards, then gym we go. Yeah? It's so good to see you. What? Does that feel alright? You know the last thing you said to me? Promise me you... Alright people, we doing it. We got the Vegas cold and ice tank top. We're gonna walk over to the gym and it can't be too crazy, right? Because it's been a while, body's broken down. We're not gonna do nothing too nuts. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of like, like a circuit where I'm gonna do back, biceps, and legs. Sort of uh, three rounds of three, a couple minutes rest in between. Nothing too crazy. So for example, I'll do some bent over rows, that's back. And I'll do some barbell curls and then I'll do some walking lunges, right? We'll do that. Get the heart rate up and then uh, once we do that three times we'll move on to maybe some pull downs wide grip pull downs some uh, hammer curls wide and then some some front squats or something like that and then we'll, we'll come up with something for the the last three see how we do It'll be a total of nine exercises three times each and I know this is gonna shift me you know because it's like I know how my, my life my brain works now it's, it's a long uh, process of trial and error and I know that I'm at my best I'm gonna get good sleep on a routine and get my ass to the gym. That's what we're doing. That was way harder than expected. <laughs> yeah, I'm so out of shape, it's unbelievable. Like, just, you know, three circuits. But you know, circuits get your heart rate up. My heart has not been up at all. I am coming over, getting a little bit sick. So maybe it was a little ambitious. I dropped the weight, because, you know, I understood. I lost some strength, but hey, listen, you know, we got in there, feel good about it. A Little bit of a sweat on, nothing crazy. We'll be okay. I feel like a rhyme's supposed to happen after that. Nope. Okay, gym, check. Shower, check. Protein shake, check. Mmm. Yeah, yummy. Plan now. Oh, my legs. This is gonna be painful tomorrow. I went too hard. I did some squats, some deadlifts, which, you know, when you haven't done legs in a while, this is gonna, I'm gonna feel this one. I already do. Um, so the plan right now is we do a couple things. First and foremost, I'm going to check. I do a lot of hockey analytics. I do most of my work in October, September. I'm sorry, August, September in terms of grading out teams and th seeing how I expect them to do. Did season total, win totals, which you can find 
uh, on my Twitter handle, uh, the other one, which is at NHL Hockey Bets. And here you can see somewhere over there the spreadsheet, um, which is on my page of how I do. I'm not, as I said, I'm not a professional handicapper. I spend a lot of time on it because I love it. It's a passion. We're doing pretty good this year. Um, so if you want to, you know, ride along on my picks or if you want to fade my picks and bet against me because you just want to be that guy, hey, feel free. So we're going to do that. We're going to watch probably another episode or two of House of Cards. You won't be leaving this room um, again until maybe buffet or order in. Probably order in today. Let's order in. And then um, at some point, nap. Tournament starts at 6. We're not going at 6. No chance. We are likely to go, we're going to probably target 10.30 p.m., shorten the day, get there when it matters. We also have the, you know, the re-entry in our pocket, nine flights, two bullets each. No sense in killing ourselves in the early levels. Not, not yet, anyway. If things start to get hairy and we don't, you know, bag a big stack in the first couple of days, then you know what? It's nose to the grindstone. Let's go. Because we can't. The, here's what's going to happen. There's going to be about, like, when uh, with day two, there's going to be about 180, 200, 200 players left. That's it. You know, because 15 went through yesterday um, from, the, from the heat. So, you know, you're looking at roughly 200 people. Of those 200, the people in, in the chase and player of the year, they're going to have to come top nine. Chances are they're going to have a good stack to do that. So we want to fade that, having a big stack ourselves and blocking them, blocker, 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 by also making a deep run in the Colossus. And uh, I feel like we will, we, will, we will get towards that. As you know, I'm very honest with you guys. I'm not happy at all with the way that we played yesterday or the main event. Playing a version of small ball that's sloppy and more volatile uh, in these things to try to gain some chips. But overall, it just puts you in like a shitty mindset. And uh, as I said, I just didn't, I just played too sloppy and not well enough. And was like, had half of my mind here in bed and, you know, s tired. And the other half, like, oh, I need to be here, you know? So we'll get some good sleep today. Today. See? It's the way this freaking life. And then we'll be ra raring to go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, we did all the things today. Woke up, breakfast at 8 o'clock. Watched the show. Went to the gym. Protein shake. Lunch at 2, another house of cards, sleep at 4, got our bets in at NHL Hockey Bets, all the overs today, um, went to sleep at 4, it is 10.20, it's amazing, right, what a weird ass life, so 10.20, that's perfect timing, we're going to go down, uh, break should be over around 10.30, we're going to jump our asses right in, play the 2 hours of uh, rebuy period, and then, uh, you know, see if we need to use a second bullet or not, and then, uh, Run it up! All right, we made it for hand number one, sitting against my friend here, Casa de Piatra. Da. Poi Sigul, haide, haide. Ci sta colli a Piatra. Ci sto non nicio data. Ah, well, not even me. Oh, so never mind. <laughs> what do you know? Four man over to William Pursuit. I need something for the bigger pal. Uh -huh. I know, I know. It's, 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 I'll say that when it's all in. There's no more action. I'm saying that we're 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 I'll lay a 30 to 1. He's not calling, but he wants to take the action. Yeah, you want to take it? 30 to 1? Yeah. I'll pass. Okay. 550 euros side bet? I'm, I'm going to bet with Daniel, not you. I'm not betting. I just want to watch. John, 550 euros side bet. Play your hand, buddy. I'm playing that. I'm thinking about it. You're not playing. Pretty much when. That guy William Vesuv at a table, there's typically a foreman always nearby <laughs> and repeatedly checking up on him. <laughs> right? It's true. All right, bullet one down the tubes. It's weird. We, did, we, we start with 25k, kind of whittled down to about 12. Moved in late position with Queen 10. It was called by Ace Jack. The flop was uh, Ace King 7. Turned like a 9. So that's actually not terrible. We need a 10 jack for Queen. Uh, on the river didn't happen, aye, so aye, aye. we'll be back to 25,000 in chips in just a moment. We're all in. This gentleman called us. 27,000. We have this hand. It's pretty. You got to turn your cards up, bro, so we can all see. <laughs> He's got the camera. You got to light. Turn your damn cards up. Fair fives. All right, that's no big deal. We got to race. 
Let's go in. He's sick. All right, here we go. Let's see here. We need uh, big cards. That's not very good flop. We're gonna be out. Oh no, four. No, 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 four. Oh, that's it. That was quick. Damn. See y'all. All right, we're trying to get out of here with my pillow. Well, that was quick. Base check suited. Against the air casually open, we move all in. The big blind decides to call. Should not with two fives, but he did, and that's okay. You know, sometimes people want a story, they want to bust you. And he did, he flopped the five, so there's that. But he really shouldn't call with two fives, it's not a good play. I had uh, 28,000 blinds are six and 12, so 20 something blinds. You know, you're not supposed to call with two fives, obviously. That's all right, you know, people we want, people we want to gamble with people. Sure, let's take a picture. Okay. okay. Thank you, Uncle Good luck. Brazil. All right, good luck. Obrigado. That's all I got. <laughs> the only, the only, only Portuguese word I know is obrigado. I used to know lindo or something. Anyway, so now it's, uh, I don't know, almost 11.30, 12 o'clock. We're wide awake. Hockey games will be starting soon. So that's what we're going to be doing. This is, this is the life that reminds me of uh, when I was a teenager. I used to help run a poker game called the Bridge Club. And uh, often I would set an alarm for 2, 3 a.m. Because that's when people showed up and I had to set up the game and I had to put the chips out and take the money and write the sheet. We, we called it the sheet. The sheet was essentially the credit line because the way it worked was, um, you know, a lot of people came with no money. You'd write it down on paper. They'd owe it. Sometimes they'd pay it. Other times they didn't. This is part of why. Uh, well, I don't even get into that. Anyway, I'm going to take a look here just for fun see what they got at the buffet. And then uh, it's hockey night in Rosvedov. See y'all.